All right, it's Sunday, June the 24th. We are just leaving. Uh, well, we didn't stay in Wingdale. We actually stayed in Dover Plains, New York. Uh, had a trail angel pick us up yesterday, give us a ride to the motel, 10 miles away. Her name was Donna. And then uh, we had uh, Billy, another trail angel that she set us up with, picked us up this morning from the motel and brought us back to the trail. We, uh, we tried to call and get a taxi yesterday to take us to the room and they wanted 50 bucks each way just to carry us to the room. So. Thank those trail angels. They sailed, They actually saved us uh, $100 in, in uh, transportation cost just by giving us two rides. So definitely want to thank them for that. It's a round structure on concrete pillars. Got a like a copper top on. Anyway, so we're looking to do 17 miles today. We'll be going into Connecticut, leaving New York. Uh, th calling for thunderstorms later tonight, so hopefully we can get get our miles in, and get set up before it gets too bad. Right now we're hiking across Farmer's Field. And uh, I don't know what that building is that I just took a picture of. I don't know if it's a water water tank or I'm not really sure what it is. I'll turn the camera around and show you. Right here's another metal bridge on the AT. Looking out on, uh, I don't know, Houston. Titanic River maybe I don't really think that's the name of it Yeah, I just wanted to show uh, how tough it's been, New York. Uh, this is one of the water sources right here. You see it? It's dry as a bone. Nothing here. And we've been dealing with this kind of stuff all the way through New York. It's been, it's been tough on water. New Jersey was tough. It's been dry up here and had a lot of rain and a lot of these unreliable sources definitely not reliable uh, but they have been trail angels that's left jugs of water along the trail for us and you know we all appreciate that but yes yeah, it's, it's, you got to you got to make sure you get your water when you can because if, if it says unreliable you can just count on it being dry it's getting pretty tough a lot of thirsty miles put in this week. Uh, Goober's about a mile ahead. It's supposed to be a reliable string up there. And uh, we had word from just a couple of days ago to where it was still flowing good. So plan on loading up with water there. Probably have to tote it a mile to where we're camping, but I don't mind. Nothing worse than going all night into the next day with no water. So. Just one of them things that's part of it right now. It's part of the struggle. Keeping and maintaining, conserving your water. <clears throat> but we're gonna get through it. We've got a pretty good plan for the next few days. Up, uh, like I say, New York has been tough, even as far as resupply goes and places to stay. 
but we're almost out of it, I think. Right there's a view down into the valley. It's the Housatonic River down there. I think that would be looking west. See some rain back in the distance. So, one of the few views we got today. Pretty nice view. All right, pushing on to the. I was trying uh, to make, make it to the shelter before the rain, but didn't quick quite get there. I think I'm about a mile away. Not too far. I mean, I still still got a chance to get there before I get totally soaked.